I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on probability distribution. Two cards are drawn successively with replacement from a deck of 52 cards. Find the probability distribution of the number of kings. Right? So two cards are drawn and we want to find out the probability distribution of the number of kings. So in such questions, when we are talking about probability distribution, we need to define random variable, right? That is first thing. And we have to assign probability. So that combination actually is the probability distribution, right? So in this case, let us define the random variable with the letter X and uh, let x denote number of kings right so so king is a face card right we have four kings in a deck of 52 now clearly when you're drawing two cards what are the possible values which x can have so outputs for for x can be either 0, none of those two are kings, or we could get one king, or we can get both the kings, right? So you're drawing two cards. So these are three possible outcomes of this random variable. No king at all, one king, or two, both of them as kings, right? So now let us find the probability of each, right? That is to say, probability when x is 0. That means no king at all, right? So that means probability of no king in the first row and no king in the second row, right? Do you see that? So when we have this AND operation, then their probabilities get multiplied, right? So probability of no king times probability of no king. Now why am I multiplying them? Both these activities are independent since we are replacing the card, right? So important thing here is we are drawing cards one after the another with replacement. So when you do the replacement, these are independent events, right? Since they are independent events, their probabilities get multiplied. So what we get here is no king at all. That means we are making a draw from 52 minus 4, that is 48 cards. So we'll leave those four kings away. So 48 over 52 cards times 48 over 52, right? So that becomes the probability of drawing no king when two cards are drawn with replacement. So, so it is 48 times 48. So we'll write, uh, we'll not really simplify uh, the result now. Divided by uh, 52, divided by 52, let's do that. So it's 144 over 169, okay? So we'll write this as 144 over 169. Okay, so that is what we get. 12 times 4, 13 times 4, and that gives you the result, right? Now, what is the probability for getting one king? So probability when x is equals to 1, that is one king, right? So that could happen if we draw first a king and then some other card. So we draw a king and not king or or means plus. We draw first no king and then a king, right? So so that is what is the case when we get one king. So the probability and means 
we have to multiply or means to add the probabilities correct so when we are drawing a king it is being taken from four kings available to us right so that is to say 4 over 52 and means multiply not a king means any other card right so not a king 48 cards remaining over 52 plus when we say that we are taking no king so the second case is just kind of reverse of this no king means 48 over 52 times a king 4 out of 52 is it okay so so we have two times we can do this uh, two times since both are same terms 4 times 48 divided by 52 divided by 52 right so that gives us 24 over 169 correct now the third case is both are kings right so let's write down the third case which is both are kings so that is x equals to 2 both are kings two numbers right so that is to say that you draw king in the first case and another king right so and another king so that really means 4 out of 52 times 4 out of 52 right that is 1 over 13 times 1 over 13 or 1 over 169 correct so that's what you get so now we have random variable and the associated probabilities we can now show it as a probability distribution right so let me make a table to show probability distribution so so what we'll do here is we'll kind of make a column for uh, let me just push this page a bit okay and use the different things so that we can just merge in things here so that is the random variable and the probability of getting it so the options or the values are zero that means no king at all one king or two king correct and the results which we have got here is for no king it is 144 over 169 for one king 24 over 169 and for both kings 1 over 169 right so that this particular table here shows the probability distribution for the given case right